the so-called underground Basilica of Porta Maggiore is located in Piazzale Labicano, approximately 9 meters below the level of the current Via Prenestina. It was discovered by chance on 23 April 1917 following a subsidence of the land along the Rome Casino railway line. In ancient times, this was a suburban area, outside the city walls, inside the so-called Horti Tauriani, owned by the gens Statilia. The monument represents the oldest example of a building with a basilica plan found in Rome and consists of a corridor, a vestibule and a main hall with three naves. The corridor, or rather what remained of it, was completely destroyed when the railways to protect the basilica from vibration due to the passage of trains incorporated it into a reinforced concrete structure. It was originally the access from the ancient Via Prenestina. The main room, a rectangular hole subdivided by six pillars into the three barrel valuted aisles. The central nave, wider than the aisles, has a semicircular apse at the bottom. The floors are mosaic in black and white, while the walls and the vaults feature figured stucco. To make the stucco mixture glow inside, mother of pearl was also mixed. representation of the vault lead back to the classical mythology. Like Ganymede kidnapped by a winged genius. The abduction of one of the daughters of Lucipus. Orpheus and Eurydice. Medea and Jason. from mystic rituals or daily life. The apsidal conch is decorated with a depiction of Sappho in the act of plunging herself from the Lucadian cliff into certain death. The female figures of donors multiply on the walls. Images of objects such as vases, candelabra, musical instruments, and large panels with stylized landscape representation. In the vestibule, the decorative apparatus is characterized by the use of polychromy on the vault, divided into small figured squares. On the stucco decorated walls, landscape themes are repeated. The charm of the basilica is also due to the mystery of its function. It was, in fact, interpreted as a funerary building or place of worship. The first interpretation identifies the building as the funerary monument of Titus Statilius Taurus who lived between 37 BC and 29 AD. Collaborator and friend of Augusto. The 
second interpretation involves another Titus Statilius Taurus. Posterior to the previous one either lived after or lived between, who allegedly used the building as the seat of a Neo-Pythagorean cult. One of the mystery cults that spread in Italy and Rome between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD. For this reason today, it is also known as the Neo-Pythagorean Basilica. Recent restoration and studies have suggested two moments in the decorative realization of the basilica. One referable to the Augustan age and the other to the Claudian age, which could refer to the two homonymous characters of the gens Statilia and suggest a change of use of the complex in the first half of the first century AD. Although the two functions, funerary monument and mystery place of worship, may not be alternatives, but may have coexisted. Beyond the hypothesis on the function of the basilica, the organic nature and the elegance of the decoration allow us to date the monument to the beginning of the first century AD, both for the choice of subjects and for the style of construction. The epigraphs of the freedmen of the Statili family, preserved in the National Roman Museum, Beth of Diocletian, provide us with information of the artisans and workers who may have worked on the construction of the Basilica of Porta Maggiore. Particularly remembered among the craftsmen specialized in construction works is the plasterer, Detector Secundus Tarianus, who may have decorated all the properties of the Statili, including the Basilica. <laughs>